good day to each and everyone. This is Mr. Loreto de Sala, and today I'm going to show you the very simple setup of solar power. Solar power needs three main parts for it to run properly. First, you need a panel. Second, you need a charge controller. And most importantly, you need a battery. So you, you only need a battery if you are going to have an upgrade setup. But if you will use the on-grid or the grid tie setup, you don't need a battery. So let's discuss first the battery or the power bank. So this battery is a 120AH deep cycle solar battery which is intended for solar. Most of all, please don't use automotive car battery because it is only intended for car and not for solar. So use battery that are only specified for solar use. Like this one, it is a 120AH. It can store around 1.4 kilowatt hour full charge. But since it is a deep cycle, we will only use the 50% charge of it, which is around 700 watt hour. So you can only use 700 watt hour in this kind of battery for it to last long. If you will use the 1.4 kilowatt, I am sure that your battery will be destroyed in a short period of time. So. After the battery, we will have the charge controller. So this is a charge controller. It is a PWM or the Pulse Width Modulation Charge Controller. So it is a 30 amp charge controller. And we have here the LCD. We have the volts, the temperature, the amps coming from the battery which is 6.8, and the load. So if we use the light, you will see the how many amps we draw from the battery. So we have the total number of kilowatt hour, the EH, and we go back to the volts. So we have here the USB socket. So USB port we used to charge our cell phone. And this one is for the light. So this one is a 30 amp, so it can handle around 25 to 28 amps of current, but I only use around 200 watts of solar panel, so I only get around 10 or 11 amps maximum of current from the solar panel. So this is a PWM. But if you have money, you can choose the MPPT because it is more efficient. Just like my solar pan is uh, 200 watts, but I, but I can only get around 150 to 160 watts, something like that. But if you will use the MPPT, I'm sure that you will get around 190 to 200 watts maximum. Hi, as of now, we are here at the top of the roof. As you can see here, we have here the two 100 watts solar panel which is equivalent to 200 watts of PV or the panel then if you're using the MPPT charge controller it can generate around 190 to 200 watts maximum but since we are using the PWM charge controller it can only generate around 150 watts maximum so we have here uh, two 100 watts it is the polycrystalline panel and you will see the difference if you if you have the monocrystalline one. It is oriented like that. It is uh, facing south because we are here in the Philippines. So we need to face our solar panel south because we are located a uh, little, little. So above. if we have the battery, the charge controller, and we also have this one. It is an inverter. So the main purpose of the inverter is to invert or convert your 100 or not 100 but 12 volt DC coming from your battery into 220 volt AC that is uh, mainly used by our appliances here in the Philippines so it is the modified sine wave inverter so it, it is a little bit cheaper but since you have money you can use the pure sine wave inverter it is more efficient than 
you can use the uh, motorized devices if you will use the pure serial inverter like this one it is the motherhead sand tape i can only use my laptop my tv but you cannot use uh, motorized appliances like the refrigerator the grinder the electric fan so in here we have here the two switches for lights like that one and you have here the socket coming from the inverter so inverter so here so it is a 320 volt ac so you can plug your laptop in here the laptop or your tv you can use that one so that's the very simple setup so this setup can run my laptop all day long and also my tv and all the, the lights in our house is coming from this one and this solar setup but there is a missing part of this most importantly if you're planning to create a solar setup you need a uh, safety devices like the fuse and the circuit breaker so it is more important if I have that one but since it is uh, like this I am planning to buy the safety devices to make it more safe in case problem has arrived.